And what's your favorite match that you ever had since you've been here? My favorite match that I've had that I've been here was was probably the it's it's a tie between when Ricky and I went up against uh Darby and Cody and the um the six man we had for Brody tribute. And that was you it was a uh, Team Taz, so myself, Ricky, and Cage versus uh, 10. Um, Cody, Cody and Cassidy. Yes, that was Cassidy. Match. Yeah, that was yeah. right. That, yeah. that was just, it was amazing. The the time that I was here that I got to know Brody was amazing because right after my first um, dark match with Orange, he pulled me aside and talked to me. And he, ever since every match that I've had, he watched always gave me advice so that, that was just awesome because yeah. my whole family loved him like when he was in, in the Wyatt family like we all loved him yeah, yeah it, it was just he was a real good person and it that meant a lot to me for him to pull me aside didn't know me to say hey you're a big man don't do this try this this worked that didn't work and it the same thing that you and I discussed in the past yeah, yeah. And if you're big, not, not a lot of big guys in this company, right? So the, no. If you're big, work big. Yeah, I remember I did a <laughs> did a frog splash in a match, and you told me is like, I know you can do it, but you don't need to do right. it. it. Doesn't mean you have to do it. Yeah, and I and I ain't done it since. And I just you know just you you and you guys you guys pulling me aside, man. Like I said earlier, that just means so much. Like it, I'm not the type to just say yes, sir. Okay thank you this and that like mm-hmm. i hear what you're saying because i want to be here for a long mm-hmm. time i don't want to be one of those guys okay well this guy just doesn't listen mm-hmm. you know and you can tell quickly so i'm i'm grateful for it 